Hey everyone, Seawolf Bowtie here with another episode of Trauma Team with special guests Caleb and Taylor. And we're starting with Stone Stone Memories. So he gets back out. Or gets further in. Oh, does Was this one, an event? Wait, does one of them have it? Was this an event? Uh, mm -hmm. no, guys? No, I don't think so. Let him out. Or they're moving him because of the home terror quarantine. Yep. Out. You're being transferred. Transferred? Why? An epidemic's broken out. All Portland is being isolated. Just in case, we're moving everyone from the facility as well. <laughs> Portland's. Here, read these. I hear it's a pretty dangerous disease. Uh, this. Oh, those are still memories. Huh. Oh, 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 the words and numbers came through. That's a good boy. This time it should. What the? Oh, I'm rolling. I don't think he's trying to cause it. I think he's looking for a cure for something. I don't even think it's him. Hey, tell me more about this disease. You're right. Ah, oh, he's gonna get claimed that he attacked him or something. Hang in there. A bruise. Call an ambulance. This place is infected too. D don't move. What are you doing? If you don't get an ambulance, don't move. What did? What did you do to him? <laughs> No, calm down. I haven't done anything. Listen to me, it's the same disease infecting Portland. Do you understand? Cancel the transfer, or it will only spread. Sh shut up! Just shut up and put your hands on the wall! God damn it. Punch him in the face and grunt, yep. We got an escapee! SO1's escaping! If that's just an event, I'm gonna be upset. If that's just a what? If that was just an event, I was gonna be upset, but luckily it wasn't. Oh, cop cars. I was like. I guess he's who he's gonna bump into. Uh, Hank and Maria. <sighs> All right, here oh, we go. I'm ready for this. Head to the ward. I'll watch over the entrance. Hang on, I'm going to get you help. Damn it. But he's going to get by Agent Smith there. Release the hostage and leave. 
Don't make me shoot you. Yeah, you pour it around all you the have people. to know by now that the quarantine's failed. Get out of the way. I want to treat this patient. You're a fugitive. I can't authorize that operation. Then shoot me. I'm not abandoning this person to die. I'm like a big scene. This is what you taught me to be. This would make a really good movie. Yes. I mean, technically, I mean, it's designed to be 3DS. I mean, that's for video games in general. To a lot of points. Hey, what are you doing over there? Get the transfusion! Um, hey, don't come in here without... Uh, what are you doing here? I'm glad you're here, Maria. I need a bed and equipment. Uh, right. What's his condition? He's exhibiting asterixis. It's most likely his liver. The treatment room is full. You'll have to everyone else. That. I can do it. Maria, I'll need you to support me. Alright. So, ready to cure this? My thing, he walked in off the street and they're letting him operate. Like, the hospital hasn't hired him or anything. Well, I mean, you think they're keeping tasks with, like, who's who right now? Especially if Maria's here instead of at oh, we Research do. Bad, I remember how to do this. What? That's a hole. Hey, it's funny what this is. I don't know. I don't remember everything yet. What? You just said you remember. Not everything. Not everything. I do remember something. <laughs> There's a certain procedure required to remove the focus. Cut off its nutrients and inject it with sodium hypochlorite. Mm -hmm. So I use three and it goes. Sodium hypochlorite? We can't inject that if we do. Yes, it's poisonous. It must be directly injected in the focus. Damn! That's what we have to do, huh? Oh, thank you. Now, let's begin the treatment. First, we need to drain the mucus. Ready to drain. To cut off its nutrients, we need a vasoconstrictor. I've got it here. It's the medicine in the blue bottle. Where is it? Where is it? The blue bottle. The blue, blue. blue bottle. Thank you. It's like, ah! Uh. Why would you put it left, right? You didn't say right, left. I've got it here in the orange vial. Be Thank you. Alright, now we just have to excise it. Here's a scalpel. The focus has been excised. Now placing it on the tray. That's one focus extraction. Alright, let's do this all together now. I need the vaso constrictor now. Clear. Injecting the drug. Get ready. Injecting the drug. Get ready. Now to excise the focus. Now to excise the focus. Get the scalpel. Okay, now to extract it. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna upset if somehow we attach it to itself. I'm ready for it. It's the second. Wait, there's something there. What is this? Something's moving inside the blood vessel. What now? Impossible. Stay calm. We'll open up the vessel and extract it. We'll have to find it first. Get the ultrasound ready. Location confirmed. Make an incision with the scalpel. The drain is ready. Drain it. Remove that whatever it is. What the hell? No. Oh, sorry. This tissue isn't here. Anyway, we must get it off. I need to make the incision while the position is visible. The fifth object has been removed. What? <gasps> there were more of them. No problem. We know what to do to extract them. Yeah, I see them moving away. Um, come on. You got an ultrasound on for it. Oh, yeah. I guess that's right. And just stab him. Yeah, stab what if it gets to the end of the road? Oh, yeah, they are following the path. Alright. Oh. Dang it. Oh, you. Oh, there's the hand. It hurts to remember. Continuing the operation. 
Yeah, as soon as I find see these guys, I'm just gonna go for them because that's oh well, what? Uh, it's so much easier when they're all right on top Yeah, exactly. Of each other. Oh crap. cut so many at one time but now it's like impossible. Oh, oh. So if they reach those, then it reforms. Okay. So thank you for noticing that. Okay. This isn't good. The bruise is moving again. So really, it's to I don't have to worry about the black spots right away. It's just make sure they're not near when I'm working. Is this whole thing his fault? That or was not he say. or was he working on the cure? Damn it, what's going on? Come on? Or there's also another possibility. Man, he's got nerves of steel. He got all the way through the operation instead. But the thing is, is it a virus? He's reading that book again. It's so horrible. What book? Look at how he has no expression at all. He can't be my son. War and peace. He looked at me. I keep thinking he'll kill us one day. You monster. Leave us alone. Your mommy and daddy are in heaven now. I'm your family. From now on, you're my precious son. Now, come along. Confused yet? No, no, I think he's the evil bad guy. Ah, you've come. Congratulations on your acceptance. We are teacher and student now. I won't go easy on you, son. <laughs>
Everything is nothingness. You too, one day. So he killed all the people. Wait! Wait! This is not. Are you all right? Hey! I remember now. I remember everything. Remember? Did you remember? Hey, what are you guys doing? FBI, we're tracking a fugitive. Let us through. Come on, you're in the way. Move! Oh, crap. Hey, over here. He's actually helping us for one. Hurry! For him, I just said not for us. Motorcycle? Oh no, I'm Then you aren't the one who caused that incident. Yes. My memory is true. The culprit is Albert Sarge. But why? I don't know. But he was distressed about his research. Research? Yes. He was doing research into protecting viruses. And those are... They're viruses that attack other harmful viruses in the body. The one he was researching was too aggressive. It would attack any organism but itself indiscriminately. Wow. And if it stopped attacking normal human cells? Yes. Every disease known to mankind could be eliminated. At least, that's what the professor must have thought. What happened to it then? I don't know, but he disappeared after that bio attack. And now there's a similar virus threatening America. I can't help but think that these are related. Great. So I guess the quarantine was the right move. Yes, but it's too late now. Guard died at the prison. The virus is already outside the reaches of the quarantine. This is bad. What should we do? Should we tell them? <laughs> Think they'd break the news without having a solution? The government won't do anything because they know all this. <laughs> then what are we supposed to do? Sit and watch it spread? Calm down. I have a lead. We need to find his daughter. Whose daughter? The professor's? Yes, Professor Sauce adopted a girl when I was 14. virus was cultivated from her blood. What? I can't guarantee everything will be explained, but if we can find her, it's possible we can end this. End it all. Then where is she? I don't know. All I know is her name. Her name is Rosalia. Rosalia <laughs> Rosalini. You're driving, open your eyes. Maria, open your eyes. Little Rose? Don't tell me. Maria, what are you doing? Shut up, just come with me. Obviously, <laughs> because you're driving. Because that's a car. <laughs> so, is everything starting to make a pattern for you guys? A little bit. Mm. I completely forgot about the professor. Oh. Trust me, I remember everything from now, just not how it went down. But that's the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So, what? The girl that died a long time ago, a few episodes back, um, she was trapped in her room scratching at the door. Mm -hmm. She scratched the name Rosalind. How did she know that name? The girl that was at the airport with the bomb, she said Rosalia. Now, how did they know? interesting, isn't it? It's like, somehow, a name given to something, 
It's so smart that it destroys everything because it's so smart that it knows a name that can be transferred to someone you know. Or, that's all coincidence. But, we'll find that out later on um, through this series, so hopefully you guys continue watching and enjoying it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! This is crazy. <laughs>